the return of a familiar chant. After weeks of calm, demonstrations in Iran have made a comeback. In Tehran, Isfahan, Iraq or Kasvin, videos have emerged of protesters across the country, undeterred by the threat of riot police. The timing of the protest is no coincidence. It marked 40 days since authorities publicly executed two men for their involvement in the protests. Some experts say a new phase in the movement has begun. And what we see now is an, a political organization of the Iranian society in order to uh, kind of carry on a, another phase of, of that confrontation with the state uh, with political demands. And we have also two days ago um, 20 uh, unions and organizations within Iran who have signed a common letter. So uh, they have come to a, a common demand uh, asking for change, you know, for separation of church and uh, uh, the state, for equal pay for women and men, so we are very much into the women life freedom movement yet, uh, for the release and conditional release of all political prisoners. And with those demands, potential political alternatives are emerging. Earlier this month, a group of prominent exiled opposition figures called for unity and said an agreement was in the works, one that would lay the groundwork for a new pluralistic system, eventually leading to free elections. Among those figures, Reza Pahlavi, son of the Shah who was overthrown in 1979, journalist Masi Alinejad, Canada-based activist Hamed Asmailion, and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Shireen Abadi. The renewed calls for a regime change from inside and outside the country have become the most serious challenge to Iran's theocracy since the Islamic Revolution.